So good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you guys know that I didn't finish giving y'all the whole uh, rundown of my um, third. It's actually my fourth week post, um, but only my third speculum pelvic exam. So today I had another one with this time, it wasn't with a nurse, it was an actual, it was actually with Dr. Rachel Bluban and Dr. Lee Zhao. So those are the two that actually created the vagina. So it was nice having them there hands on today to talk to, because I had questions for them, you know? But um, we're gonna roll with the questions really quick and the answers, and then I'm just gonna end this and um, say goodnight to you guys. So, um, the first thing was, of course, urinating. You know, it's been an issue. And so that's what I've been doing, you know. Basically, I've just been, since I've been home, you know, I've only been home for a couple of hours. But the first thing I did, of course, was urinate. So, the next hour and a half, I should be able to go again. Every four hours. Anyway, that's practice. It helps the bladder work properly and everything so um everything went well she gave me like almost like an exfoliation you guys like um she took this thing and went inside all the way to the back she goes oh you're pretty you're very deep Kajim. i said well yeah i asked him for seven and a half inches at least and he gave it to me so i got all of that you know i dilate properly i dilate on time i keep my my, my depth but the problem is me with the girth going up one that's a problem. They get very thick and very big. So I'm on the green one, kind of. So I'm between blue and green right now. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, because that's like the last thing you want to do is lose your depth. You know, and then have to have a procedure for them to give you more depth. So that's fine. So um, the urinating is getting way, 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 way better. It's just that I had had an accident outside in public the other day. Girl. Yeah, that wasn't cute. So, um, I had to talk to them about that, but they reassured me that it's gonna get better. You just have to keep practicing. You have to keep doing what we tell you to do, and I've been doing it. But she did tell me that it looks beautiful inside, and she gave it like an exfoliation in there. She took this thing and stuck it all the way to the back and started scraping all the dead skin that's in the back back there that we don't really be able to get. We can't get that. We can't reach that far with douching or anything else. So she scraped it out for me. That happened. Um, Dr. Zal was there. Um, he was just there. He doesn't talk very much, but he's there. Okay, you guys, we're here. This is the speculum. That's the speculum. That's what goes inside you. And then they have all of their other sterile items here, which is part of the exam. So, yeah. So, my only issue today is still um, a little bit of um, not having full control of my urinating and as in, as 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 embarrassing as it sounds, I actually had an accident in public, child, last week. <laughs> I'll tell you guys about it outside, but it was so embarrassing. So I'm gonna ask questions about that. I am doing the exercises to tighten my muscles down there, and um, yeah. So um. She told me that it would get better. She really convinced me that it would. I still need to continue to do my exercises, my muscle contractions, kind of like when you're doing Kegels, you know, for, for sisters and women that have been doing Kegels to tighten, you know, to grip, to have more control. So them cutting muscle and cutting through nerves and all of that, all this stuff has to reconnect. All of that stuff has to regenerate. Nerves have to regenerate and all this stuff. But in the meantime, you're practicing is either choose to go to physical therapy, which I do not choose to go to, or I can do the exercises at home. And one of the things she told me to do is start urinating every four hours. Even if you don't have to urinate, go every four hours. So I'm thinking, okay, so just sitting there and let something out, even if I don't have to go, she's like, yes, because that's what's gonna get your bladder to start working properly. 
Yeah, so that went well. He's really good at what he does. He's not a really good, big communicator, but if you got questions, definitely ask him. Ask, ask, ask questions, questions, questions. Never be afraid to ask questions about the surgery. Um, but like I said, everything's going pretty well. So, so far, so good. Um, uh, I went from purple to blue, now to green. Okay, so... Um, the next stage is the orange one, which is the really big one. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to pull them all out so you guys can see what they look like. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. And they come in this pretty velvety case. Look at that. <laughs> Hold on. This is the biggest one. Okay? They all have the same amount of dots, as you see. You know, the goal is to be able to get here, to get from here to here. I'm already halfway on this one because I'm very diligent in what I do. And I go all the way up to this dot here, right here. This is where, so only this dot shows. So I can take all of that all the way down, all the way down. If I go and practice hard enough, I can take all the way to the dot and you won't see anything. That's. You know, if I'm very, very relaxed. But yeah, so this is the goal. You know what I mean? The mega. I don't know if I ever want to even try this, actually, to tell you the truth. I don't have to. You know, I can be satisfied with just this size. You know what I mean? So, it's my choice. My body. My choice. Anyway, I love you guys. Oh, Santel. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Kajin, my life. So, I am here, you guys. I have my follow-up appointment today, of course, with NYU. This is my fourth week, so it's a month post-op, right? Or going into the fourth week. Anyway, I lost track. <laughs> um, you guys know what to do. Hit that button right there. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. So, I'm here for my follow-up appointment, my fourth or third follow-up appointment. I'm here for my third follow-up appointment and um, speculum um, pelvic exam is basically what I'm about to do. And uh, yeah, not really looking forward to it because I'm still very sore. Um, but I'll get into more details about it when I'm outside, okay? So love you. Hit that button. I'll be back. Yeah, he doesn't talk very much, but that's okay. He's very good at what he does. He gave me exactly what I wanted as far as his, the depth is concerned. So I'm just waiting for things to kind of just... They're looking better, but it's really... It's ugly right about now. It's in the ugly stage because it's healing. So it's like... It's a mess. <laughs> it's not pretty like it was when I first came out. But I know that all of that skin has to peel off and all the new skin has to come on. So I'm ready for it. And I'm up for it, baby. I'm up for it, baby. So yeah, I've been, I'm happy for the most part, you guys. I'm very, very happy that I made this decision, finally. You know, um, finally it happened for me, so yeah. I just can't wait to heal so I can actually enjoy the pussy. God damn. Whew. There's a lot of fucking work because... So, at night or during the day, take this. Squeeze it on. At night, you use the Santel once every night. Once, only right before bed. And you put it on the tip. You just cover the whole tip of it up. And then you put your gel around the bottom of it. And insert, and always insert down like that. Always go down like that. That's how they go in. So this is for educational purposes. All of these are medical situations <laughs> the medical instruments here this is all educational so yeah and I'll make sure I put that in the caption it's medical purpose educational purpose anyway love you guys hit that like hit that share and hit the subscribe bitch I'm coming just give me a couple of months